It's no secret that we live in an instant gratification society. You can get anything you want, and I mean anything, pretty much anytime you want. And nowadays, the most you need to do is literally lift a finger, like really, you literally press a button, the thing scans your face, and that thing's gonna be at your door in a day. In a world where it's so easy to spend money and get everything you want right when you want it, one of the hardest things a person can do is to wait. And even harder is to flat out say no. Looking back, one of the biggest reasons, and there were many, of why I was so addicted to shopping and literally buried in a pile of clothes and an even bigger pile of debt was because I couldn't say no to myself. Well, a more accurate statement might actually be that I didn't want to say no to myself. I'd often catch myself in the trap of wanting something, deep down knowing that it wasn't good for me, but buying it anyway because it was always just easier to give in to the temptation. In my world, it was always easier to buy now and worry about it later. And I definitely worried. When I started thinking about my spending habits, my financial and my personal goals, and what I wanted my future to look like, I really had to start thinking about what I was saying yes to and where all those yeses were gonna have me end up. So here's how I learned to say no to myself and how it changed my life. And sometimes it's as easy as saying no and walking away, but if you're mostly used to saying yes and dealing with the consequences later, then I think some of these steps can help you walk your way through saying no, sticking to it, and instead of walking away from where you want to be going, you start to shift your direction a little bit. The first step to saying yes or no to anything is taking notice of it. Noticing that you like something, noticing that little increase in heart rate and in your breath, and your brain starts to tell you, ooh, I like that. Well, just the same, learning to say no to yourself means taking that same notice. And instead of acting on that impulse, giving into that dopamine hit, and taking the easy way out by adding to cart, take notice of the thing that you're interested in. And then consider this next step, which is ask why and ask how. So you notice something that sparked your interest, and instead of acting on it, you pause to ask yourself some questions. Increasing your awareness of how you're feeling is massively important. Why did you take notice of that something? Were you shopping around and scrolling in response to a feeling? Maybe you were bored, upset, or maybe you were just simply looking to distract yourself. Or you simply want it just because. And that's totally okay, but it's also good to think about why. Taking notice is a pivotal step when it comes to saying yes, and even more so when it comes to saying no. You have to know what it is that you want and why you want it. And it does require you to dig a little deeper than simply just saying, ooh, I like that. Think about why you want something and what it's gonna do for you in your life. Is it actually gonna serve a purpose? Is it gonna improve your life in some way? Is it gonna make something easier? Or are you simply saying yes to this thing because of feelings of boredom, of wanting to be distracted? Or you wanna fill some kind of void in some way? And that's why it can be hard to say no to those things because saying yes is often easier and it often gets the job done that you need. But when we say yes to that thing, we're often saying no to something else. No to the money that we could have spent elsewhere. No to paying more down on your debt. No to saving more. No to reaching that goal by a certain timeline. Think about what it is that you want, why you want it, and even how you're gonna get that thing. Because when you give some things a little bit more thought, it does start to get a little easier to say no. So maybe now you've taken notice and you've asked why you wanna say yes to that thing. But the next thing to do before you say yes is to think about how you're feeling. Look inside and consider how you're feeling in that very moment and consider the feelings that you were experiencing the moment you wanted to say yes. Were you feeling happy and excited? Maybe stressed, sad, or bored? Maybe you were comparing yourself to someone else? Or maybe you're just trying to find a way to feel like you're doing something. Because the act of spending money sometimes does feel productive. But think about how you're feeling and how this act of spending and saying yes to this thing is connected to that response. Because a lot of us have said that we do shop out of sadness or boredom, but it's just as easy to shop and say yes and embrace the moment in the moment when you're feeling happy or even excited. So any of those feelings can really cloud your judgment and really affect your ability to make a clear and critical decision on whether or not you wanna say yes or say no. So think about how you're feeling and take some time to not only experience that feeling, but give yourself some space. You don't have to make the decision right away. And giving yourself space from that can make that decision a little bit more clear and a little less emotionally connected. The next way I've learned to say no to myself is to simply say not now. And the way I do that is by writing down 
what it is I thought I wanted or wanted to do on a wish list. This for me really gives me time to think about what I want, why I want it, when I realized I wanted it, and it gives me the space and time to think about what steps I wanna take from there. For me, a lot of the times when I went shopping, it's because I wanted to feel productive and like I was doing something. And it's because I really didn't have anything to work on other than that. So why not work on things like my personal style? But instead of buying something that I want right when I want it, I write it down on the list and give myself some breathing room. This gives me time to think critically about it, to decide what I'm saying no to if I do say yes, and to make a plan to get this thing to figure out how I'm gonna pay for it, how I'm gonna put it in my budget, how I'm gonna make room for it in my wardrobe. And this even gives me a chance to forget about the item altogether, in which case it helps me say no. And when I really do wanna say yes, I really stop to think about what I am saying no to. It really helps if you make a plan and plan out your goals and think about the life that you want to shape for yourself. Think about what's important to you, what you value, and the life you wanna live for yourself. I think a lot of times when we impulse and default to just saying yes all the time, it's because we're trying to please other people, be part of the crowd, or find acceptance in some way. Whether that be saying yes to a project that maybe you really didn't want to work on, but you don't want to look bad in front of your boss, saying yes to yourself when you feel like you want something, saying yes to going out for a night of drinks when you have a goal to cook more at home, or maybe you have some health goals that you're trying to achieve. Think about what you're saying no to, when you do say yes. And you can learn a lot more about this through Greg McEwen's book, Essentialism, because when you narrow down what's most important to you, you stop saying yes to the easy or trivial things in favor of saying yes to maybe the harder things, but the things that are most important to you. And when that feels clear to you, saying no to things that get in the way of that suddenly becomes a lot easier. So when it comes to saying no to things, sometimes it is just as simple as saying no and walking away. But other times it's a little more difficult, especially if you're used to saying yes to almost everything that you want right when you want it. But if you're mostly used to saying yes all the time and dealing with the consequences later, then I think some of these steps can help you walk your way through saying no, sticking to it, and start walking in the direction that you wanna take yourself. Because sometimes it is just as simple as saying no. So I hope this video helped you in some way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you learned to say no to some things and how that may have helped change your perspective and even change your life. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.